now we're on lights. My headlights, right? This is a small one is my high beam, the big one is my low beam. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or broken. It's clear or white in color. All right, coming over here. That is my marker light. It's properly mounted and secured. It is amber in color. My marker light has two functions, my turn signal and my four-way flash. All right, coming on right to the side here. <clears throat> this is my reflector. It's not a light, it's just a reflector. It's properly mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or broken. And it is also amber in color. Alright, so the only ones that we call clearance lights are the ones up top. top. Yeah. Which is right here, going on it's down, they all marker lights. Marker lights, okay, thank you. Oh, before I get ahead of myself. Alright, so the three L's, like I said earlier, covered all of the lights. Now we're looking for leaks. We're looking underneath here. Making sure that there are no puddles that would indicate a leak. We're also making sure that the truck or trailer is not leaning. Right, if it is leaning, that is indicative that there is either a flat tire or you have broken suspension. Alright, so it's not leaning, there are no leaks. We check the lights. Open up the hood. We're gonna hit the passenger side first. All right, get to this side. I'm gonna do the sweet thing of motion. All of my hoses are properly mounted and secured. All of, all of these hoses are made out of rubber, so there are, there should be no abrasions, no bulges, and no cuts. Also, some of these contain air, some of them contain liquid, so no leaks. Nothing is leaking. Alright, after that, I'm gonna look at all of my clamps. Alright, clamps everywhere. Here, all of the All of my clamps are present and they are on tight. Alright. After that, we're coming down here. Does anybody know what this piece is? Alternator. Alternator. My alternator is not cracked, damaged, or broken. There are no missing bolts. Uh, properly mounted and secure. Now these wires back here, these are electrical wires. So anything electrical will say that there is no burns, no cuts, and no frays. Also, these wires are directly connected to your battery, so no corrosion. And I know some of you guys have a little uh, me mechanical history as far as just lifting up your own hood of the car. Have y'all ever seen that green or blue shit on your battery? Yeah. Battery acid. That is a corrosive substance, so no corrosion. During the class, you know what? Phrase. Phrase. Yes. So what does it mean with phrase? All right. Uh, what type of phone do you have? iPhone. iPhone. So you've had a charger that started to unravel after it gets kind of old. Yeah. That's what a phrase is. So when stuff starts to unravel. Okay. All right. Okay. My alternator. It is belt driven. Alright, so since it's belt driven, we're going to check out my belt next. It is properly mounted and secure. There, um, there are no tears. It is, there are no cuts. Alright, there is no more than three quarters of an inch of play on my belt. 
Alright, I know it's about to be summertime. You know, if y'all hear a car crank up and cut that AC on, that bitch starts screaming. It's because they need a new belt. So usually when it's making that sound, that their belt is frayed. That's why they need a new one. Alright, any questions so far? We good. Cool. Now we're gonna make our way to the What about what about this one here? Uh, it's your windshield, windshield, windshield wiper fluid. You don't have to explain it on the outside because we actually mentioned that during our end cab inspection. Okay. Right? Any other questions? The other parts? No. No, that's it. Everything that I am uh, naming, that's what you have to mention. Yeah, you don't have to do anything extra unless you just <laughs> really want to. <laughs> you want to be student of the year. Right. <laughs> All right, coming to this side. You're going to do the same thing that you did on the passenger side. You're going to hit all of my hoses, properly mounted and secured. There are no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. No sounds of audible hissing. I mean, audible? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I like to start off with the stuff that is difficult to see. That way, y'all don't hit everything else and get into a nice little groove and you forget. forget what you can't see. So right back here, it is your air compressor. It is properly mounted and secure, not cracked, damaged, or broken. No sounds of audible hissing. All right. Which one is that? It's Inside? back there. Yeah, it's kind of hard okay. to like tell, but as long as you point in this general direction, perfectly fine. All right, sitting right under the uh, air compressor is the power steering pump. Yeah, about right there kind of hard to see it so that's why as long as you just point in this general direction it's all the way fine. under it for the freight liners yes on uh, different trucks it's just yeah. like different cars it's manual engine you going to have freight liner or? yes okay. yes thank yes. you guys <laughs> freight liners the best I'm telling you, to me that's a hell no <laughs> but you'll see that yeah. as you keep on going uh, freight liners it's a good uh Parts are accessible. There we go. Yeah, it's it's good like Chevy. It's like the Chevy. It's like the Chevy's of uh, 18 wheel. Okay, okay. Oh, so my power steering pump. It is properly mounted and secure. It's not cracked, damaged, or broken, and there are no leaks. All right. <clears throat> Both my air compressor and my power steering pump are gear driven. Uh, anything at the back of the truck is gear driven. Everything at the front is belt driven. Mm -hmm. what, what's going on, Lee? Alright, uh, chapter two. Oh, okay. So next, your oil dipstick. Alright, you check this oil just like y'all check y'all's personal car. Take it out, wipe it off, put it back in. Take it back out to uh, get the proper level. All right. Say that this is a little short, and you had to add some. You add it right up here. This is my oil fill tube. All right. Properly mounted and secure, not crack damaged or broken. There are no leaks, and my cap is on tight. Touch All right. Coming over here. I need to add some to it. This is your coolant reservoir. Properly mounted and secure. It is not cracked, damaged, or broken. There are no, no leaks, and my cap is on tight. Excuse me. Also, you would check to make sure that it is filled to the proper level or filled to the manufacturer specs. Right, as you see, it's a little low. You gotta add some. Um, you always want to keep that at the right, like, level. Uh, you know, 
easy DOT violation. Very important. Tell us two covers. Yeah. So you don't have to mention them okay. individually. You just say that my caps are on tight. So nothing is leaking out. All right. Coming down here. Does anybody know what this piece what? is? <laughs> I believe you have said uh, what was your name? Adrian. William. William. Right. So yeah, my name is Auburn. Uh, yeah. It's probably going to take me the better part of this week to learn y'all's uh, names because we get y'all two weeks in and Just get a whole new next. like group. So forgive me if I butcher y'all's name. So like I said, I'm trying to get that down. I still got the last class stuck up here. Alright, so your water pump is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked, damaged, or broken. Your water pump, since it's at the front, it is belt driven. Alright, my water pump has no leaks and all of my bolts are present. Right. We would actually have to check the belt on this one too, right? Correct. That's where I was going next. So, my belt is properly mounted and secured. It is not cut or torn. Uh, and there is no more than three quarters of an inch of clay. All right, coming over here, we got my power steering reservoir. Power steering reservoir is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, damaged, or broken. It's filled to the proper level. My caps are on tight. And there are no leaks. Coming right here. Does anybody know what this is? Power steering. Uh, your uh, uh, steering wheel. That's Linkage. it. Yeah, no, this is the power <laughs> steering here. Power steering linkage. So, steering column or steering column shaft. All right. The steering column is properly mounted and secured with two U joints. All right, so whenever you're thinking of a U joint, think of your knees and elbows, all right? This thing moves, so it has to move. Uh, your uh, your U joints have to be properly greased, all right? Uh, this is metal on metal. So if there's nothing to, you know, lubricate this, it's gonna create a whole lot of friction. So it has to be properly greased. Also, my steering column shaft cannot have more than 10 degrees of play. All right, coming down here, we have our gearbox. Gear, our gearbox properly mounted and secure, not cracked, damaged, or broken. No missing bolts. No missing bolts. All right. Oh, cha cha cha. Let me cut this truck off real quick so y'all can get a good visual of my next stuff I'm about to show you. 